Hello and welcome to this episode of T Tech. Today's episode, we're going to be setting up Sericata on OpenBSD. So, the first thing we're going to do is log in as our normal user, get root. And what I've already gone ahead and done is we're setting this whole thing up as a router. That's my WAN, that's my LAN, there is my PFConf. Keep in mind what LAN and WAN are because that'll come in handy in a minute. And our DHCP, as well as our IP40. But with all that configured, we're in this case I'm implementing it on a router slash network firewall. You can also implement this on a standalone server and have a span port going into that server so it can um, analyze all the traffic. But the first thing we got to do, we have connectivity. We're going to do package add. Sericata. All right, now that we're done installing, you want to look at Etsy, Sericata, Sericata.yaml. First thing we want to change is the home net variable, just like snort. We're going to go ahead and comment this. Let's make a new one. Like so. My LAN subnet is 10, 0, slash 24. So that's what we're going to put in here. Another one to look for is AF-packet. And below this a little bit, this is for Linux, the high-speed packet capture that goes into kernel space instead of user space. But another way to configure it is uh, down here where it says PCAP. You can also put the interface configuration here. Now, because of things with the OpenBSD port of Sericata and their startup script, I'm going to do it a little bit different. So I'm not going to change that there, just the home net part. So that's all we actually have to change there. What I'm going to do is go into Etsy and make a file called rc.local, so it runs on boot. And you want to put user local then Sericata. You want to have it run as a daemon, use a capital D switch for that. We want to specify its configuration file with dash C, Sericata, Sericata.yaml, and then finally the interface with dash I. We're just going to do our LAN for now. If you want to do more than one, you can do EM1. It could be also, that could be a VLAN interface. Um, it could be a VPN interface. It doesn't really matter as long as the kernel gave that um, network interface a device name. You can usually interact with it. So from there, that's what we want in that file. And then we can do Etsy. Oh, one more thing before we do this, change mod. We want to give executable, executable permissions to the user. And then we can do at CRC local. So fun failure. Um, let's see. Got to double check that. Don't know how that happened. I put two. OK, there we are. Let's see here. Caps lock is on. Helps if your caps lock isn't on. There we are. All right. So now we should be able to start it. There we go. That's what you want to see when it starts. You can see it inside of top. It's running as Sericata. So from here, we can tail bear log Sericata stats. And this shows you the different types of information, how long it's been running the different types of flows it's processing. As time goes on, um, you can also rep information out of it. Like that was just for TCP information. You could also wrap this in a watch command um, to do it on a specific interval. I could look for HTTP flows transmitted and received and get information. If I look at bear log Sericata fast.log. These are different things that may happen uh, with traffic it's detected. These are per packet and this will fill up 
with any kind of things it detects, whether that may be malware's command and control channel that it may find in the payload of a packet or something else entirely. That's what it's going to um, detect. But that's where you look at for that information. And uh, from there, to, to stop it, at least in this case with the workaround, you just want to find its PID file, do 41033 in my case, and that will kill the process. And then if we reboot, uh, it will come up at the end of the boot process. So if we reboot our system here, and you will see the package system trying to start it up and say it's absent. There's something going on with the port of Sericata, as I said. I'm not sure what exactly, but putting it in Etsy RC local with those configurations um, is a good way. See, this has failed, but yes, it does start because of RC that local, you can apply that to any daemon you run on OpenBSD or pretty much any BSD that implements rc.local. But, and now it's running just like before. So that is how we set up Sericata on OpenBSD. Again, you can mo monitor multiple interfaces and you can have it on a router slash firewall or you can have it on a standalone server. So with all that, it's been Tyler with T-Tech. I do hope you found this video uh, informative and helpful, and I'd like to thank you for viewing, and have a very nice day.